Probe 1 against Tech 27. And, uh, yeah, Heartbreak Ridge, TVZ. How do you guys feel about this map for the matchup? Wait, what? Um, what? Very what? good. What? It's not gonna be TVZ. My god. Okay. okay, so I guess for the moment, Tech 27 is the teal Protoss on the left hand side, and Probe 1 is the orange Zerg on the right hand side. And uh, I'll be curious to see how it goes. I feel so bad for um, KZ Payne before anything else starts. That the moment when he said, like he said, with no caps, no question mark, just can I ob? And <laughs> closed immediately. <laughs> Gone. It's just. No. It's so sad. Uh, he only wanted a friend. It's laggy enough with like an Australian and a Europeans in it. When you try to add extra people, things go wrong. That's why we do have a stream here for people to watch. Uh, we are. About a 180, 180 viewers or 170 something viewers, I can't really read it properly, but... My god. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean... Tech 27 also must be a little bit frustrated there, um, with that loss. Decided to play Protoss, but... My question is... What sort of masochist is he? Like... I'm gonna say a fairly significant masochist, right? It's actually pronounced masochistic. <laughs> what? Relevant pun. Um, it's a pun on the name. Oh, I get it. Alright, sorry. There you go. Wow. That, oh, wow. Okay. It's from your... He's actually the going gateway first. The English speaker got pun faster than you did. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, uh, when you forge FE in this map, they can just go in the back door, but he's actually just going to go gate first. So basically, he's just doing the big balls build. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> It's just like, you know what? There's no fucking ramp, whatever, I'll just build a fucking gateway and make some zealots. Like, that's that's it. That's what he's saying. Two gate. Is it a dub? Oh, yeah. Uh, alrighties. Uh, unfortunately, looks like Probe 1 has decided to overpull? Is his overpull? Probe 1 just really liked Overlords. Oh, and he's... He's blocking the, the natural um, with the probe. It's phenomenally effective. Every single time he tries to build, I mean, the, the probe is going to die out here. But he's held that natural away for so long. You know what? I'm pretty sure that the probe was moved there, and then the probe, whenever it gets attacked, moves away, right? Like, it just tries to flee. And essentially, he chased it around while it autonomously was fleeing and still blocking. That's my theory. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to think that it was a big intentional block as part of his strategy to get the two gates to do more. Although, I, I, I really, like, in my mind, I'm just waiting. Sorry, someone was asking a question. Um, in my mind, I'm just waiting to see if Tech 27 plays Probos and doesn't get spiked with even once, but he's at 18 of 25, and the next pilot is already halfway done, so I guess he's not going to get spiked. <laughs> he's not going to get spiked. <laughs> I think we've already we've already covered that. He is actually getting gas up as well. Fairly interesting. I think this is a good idea though, because something that you can do against inexperienced Zergs who are used to playing against a Forge FE style, when you do go for some sort of early gateway pressure, they kind of just they get lost. They don't know when they should be expanding, if they can well, take. He's going to be more lost because his lings are right there already, and he hasn't seen the two zealots on the way in, so he's almost certainly going to just lose this hatchery. But there is going to be a, a zealot taken down here quite quickly, and this is going to be a pain in the ass deal. So they're both kind of almost base trading here. But when I say base trading, uh -huh. I mean probably not is going base trading. For the pylon, but little does he know that Tech 27 always builds too many pylons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. He was waiting for this. That was a bait pile, and he was like, "It's gonna he's, die." I know that, but I'm gonna be fine. He's in shape, and there's three zealots attacking that. Is and hatchery probe one is was probe one supply box? Right, so is that why no, there's like no zerglings or what? No, no, he's just like, he's building two overlords at his natural. Oh. And what? and drones are his mate. What? Wait, what? Really? Are you for serious? Um, I don't know. He's got a zergling. What? No, he's lost the hatch. So... He's just like, the creep this is actually, this, yeah, this is really good for Protoss. So uh, 27 is in great shape. I mean, he's yeah. not going to get supply blocked because I mean he was at 17 of 26 supply and then he built two overlords. So and I'm he's saying. also banking banking gas for retirement. He's uh, 
he has 350 gas for no reason at all. Does he have no speed yet? No, 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 the Protoss. Look at this oh, micro. Sick, micro in this L -up. sick like, micro. Yeah. Holy he shit. Oh, he lost it. Uh, That's unfortunate. Oh well, it but doesn't matter. What's the plan here? Like, he should have pulled the drones so long ago if he wanted to hold it. <laughs> so basically, let's just... Just a quick recap of what happened in that game. Uh, essentially, Tech 27 <laughs> made a couple of Teamated gateways. And, <laughs> like... and then, yeah, he, he walked three zealots into Probe 1's natural, and then Probe 1 Killed died. everything. Yeah. And Not that's... only that, he baited the Zergling with an extra pylon. Yeah. And he... then, <laughs> he mined 400 gas for no other reason <laughs> than to give Probe 1 a hand... Uh, you know, uh, lead or leeway. <laughs> uh, all right.